Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ellen and today I'm going to be setting up my bullet journal for the month of September. I decided to take some inspiration from TikTok this month and I went with an aesthetic that I found on there which is called Dark Academia and I just thought that it was a really beautiful aesthetic and so I wanted to incorporate a little bit and I thought it also kind of fit with the back to school vibe September gives off. I'm not going back to school but still a fun vibe to play with. So without further ado, let's get planning. Here is my Reflaris bullet journal and we'll get that opened up. So these are the pencil sketches for the monthly layout that I did before filming just to speed things up a little bit. Some of the other materials include these Crayola Super Teps. I got the big 50 pack so that I have lots of color options for many themes to come. And then here is the brown Tombow marker, it's 879, and that will be linked in the description down below. I'm just adding in the grid for all of the days now. Just a note, I do start my weeks on Mondays, so if you prefer to start on Sundays, it's definitely going to look different than mine is. Now for the titles this month, I wanted to kind of style it the way that kids learn how to write, if that makes sense. Um, some of the titles end up looking more like that than others. In the end, I ended up really liking how everything turns out. So this monthly spread has a kind of desktop overview look. I've got this coffee cup, a pair of glasses, a phone, and AirPods. So I'm using those Crayola Super Tips to color them all in different shades of brown because that kind of goes with that dark academia aesthetic. I also outlined some of them with a black pen. I will have it linked down below as well. On the phone screen, I decided to have like a Spotify looking thing on it and I'm going to pick out what kind of album cover or picture to put in the square a little bit later. But I think it's kind of fun that you could customize it and put anything in there. just denoting what day of the week it is with the first letter of each day and then I'm also going to add in the numbers for each day of the month. Now moving on to the next spread. I am doing my YouTube tracking page and on this page I like to add a smaller grid so that I can still write in what videos I'm planning to do on what days of the month as well as keep track of my progress for each video. Here I'm just putting in the title and this is where I was realizing that this is a wider writing style than I'm used to and so I got YouTube in and then started writing tracker and I end up running out of space a little bit so it just says YouTube track <laughs> these things happen um, I wrote in the word subs in the first and last square of the month so that I can mark down how many subscribers I had at the beginning and the end of September the bottom section is where I'll put in the titles of different videos I'm working on and then I'll mark off when different parts of that project is done. Moving on to the other side, I have my habit tracking page. Habits is of course a shorter word, so it fit much nicer over here. Um, and then I added an outline of the month grid for each of the habits I'm tracking. This is something I tried the first time for August and I've been really liking it, so I wanted to do it for September as well. And for the titles, for each habit I'm tracking, I wanted to do it in white, so I put a dark brown under. I will be tracking workouts, vitamins, and flossing. Vitamins and flossing are new ones for me, but things that I definitely need to do more. 
I'm also going to be tracking how many days I drink more than one alcoholic drink. Usually I'll just have one, so I feel like that's fine. Um, and then I'm also looking at reading, journaling, and being creative. These next two pages are very simple. All I do for them in the setup is the title. So for the first page, it is my gratitude tracking page. So every day of the month, I'll go to this page and I'll write down a couple of things that I'm grateful for. And this has been especially good during quarantine, just to have a place to write down things that I am grateful for. And as a reminder that there are good things in every day, even if it wasn't an overall good day, if that makes sense. The other side of the page, I do memories. So this is somewhere where I will glue or tape in different little pictures or receipts or something like that, um, as well as draw out different things that happened in the month. So just somewhere to kind of have a visual compilation of my month. I kind of decided things were looking a little boring, so I pulled out this black piece of paper I had and decided to glue that into these pages. I also dug around in some of my scrapbooking supplies and looked through magazines for things I could cut out. So this little tag shaped piece of paper is from my scrapbooking stuff, and I haven't really decided if I'm going to write something on it, but again, I thought it just added. and. I feel like the dark academia is kind of eclectic, so I think adding more pieces is nice. Now we're moving into my first weekly spread, so I wanted to add some black paper again, and this one is a little bit smaller, or I guess a different shape, um, and I put it in the top, and then I found a nice magazine cutout to add with it as well. So it says, it can be a treacherous thing, comma, and then I decided to write under it, expectations, because I feel like that is something I'm running into with these pandemic times. So, you know, I'll have it just as a reminder that whatever I thought September might be like, it's okay that it's different, and you can make new expectations for yourself, and that is just fine. In the other corner, I decided to add some other scrapbook pieces that I had around. So this one was cute, it just says okay on it, and then the other one has a nice little wreath. In the wreath, I'm writing the dates for this week, so August 31st through September 6th, and remembering this is a Monday through Sunday. I'm going to add in more things when it actually gets to the week, but I like to leave things pretty open, especially because I'm not super scheduled these days. Now we will do a flip through of all of the pages I've made for this month. So the monthly overview page, my YouTube tracker and habit tracking page, space for gratitude and memories, and then my weekly spread for the first week. Now you may be saying to yourself, Ellen, your monthly spread doesn't look how it looked in the thumbnail and you would be correct. I ended up going back and changing it because I wasn't in love with how it looked and that's pretty common for me when it comes to these spreads. So here's some clips of me doing the changes. I decided to color in the entire background of the monthly spread page with the dark brown I was using for the titles before. I think this looks nice because it kind of emulates a dark wood table. And then I found this September text in an old planner I didn't end up using and decided to glue that in. I also went back through with a white pen and rewrote the days of the week. After I made those changes, I was a lot happier with how it all looked, and I think it's normal to continually evolve your stuff, so you do you. Thank you so much for watching me set up my bullet journal. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I put it all together, as well as seeing how I fix things that I don't end up liking. Bullet journals don't always turn out perfect, and that is okay and I think it's all a part of the process. Comment down below what your favorite spread for this month was and what theme you're going for this September. 
I'll see you in the next video. Bye.